Now you're probably thinking, okay, you can set the variable, but what does that allow you to do? Well, now that the variable's set, we can uh, start messing around with the if command. This is one of my favorite commands in batch files. All right, here's how it works. You type out if forward slash i, then the value of test. You don't just type out test. You have to type out the value of test. In order to do that, you do quotation percent test percent quotation. So if the value of test is equal to, you put two equal signs, quotation, let's say yes, then so right now it's saying if the value of test is equal to yes, then we put space and parentheses. So now, and then we hit enter. So now this parentheses starts up a list of commands you want it to do if test is equal to yes. Every time, okay, so it's kind of hard to explain, but if up here you type out yes, then it will run through all the commands you type out down here. So we're going to start, start typing out commands, something simple. Every time you type it out, you want to hit tab. It's just a good thing to do. Um, you Alright, what should we make it do? We'll just make it say something. We'll say, you win. And then we'll pause it. Now, to close this, you hit enter again after your last command, and just put the other parentheses. So, if test is equal to yes, it will say, you win, and it will pause. And then after it pauses and you hit a key, it'll go through this all stuff again, just like before. So we'll save this. Minimize that. Click this. What do you want test to equal? You make it equal yes. You win. Press any key to continue. Then it'll say this is a test, just like before. Whatever. Uh, now let's say we didn't type in yes. If we didn't type in yes, let's say we typed in something else besides yes, then it won't go through that process. It won't say you win. It'll just go straight down here to this as a test and press any key to continue. So pretty easy. Um, uh, one, uh, two more commands here. Um, the next one is just a sort of a variation on the if command. Um, you type out the if dash i, but after the forward slash i, you put in not. So now this is saying, if test, the value of test is not yes, then you will go through these commands. But if it, it is equal to yes, then it will just skip this. So now if we save this, we go to whatever, and we type out something that is not yes, then it will say, you win, press any key to continue, say this is a test, press any key to continue. Alright, so that's the if not command. Now I'm going to show you the go to command. Um, it's basically like putting checkpoints in the, the, in the batch file. Let's say, um, let's do this here. Let's make another command under this part here, so that if it is not equal to test, or if test is not equal to yes, and it'll go through these things, we'll make it go to top. Now, where is top? Well, it's not up here. We have to turn on the top. We have to set the top where it is. So we'll just make it right under. You always want to have your variables and the edit go off at the top. So, we'll just make to set a go to point, you do colon top. So now if we run this and we make test not equal to yes, then it will say you win, it'll pause, and then it'll go to the top. It'll go back up here to the top, and then it'll run through all this stuff again. So we'll save this. We'll make test not equal to yes, it'll say you win and then it'll bring us back to what do you want test to equal. If we make test equal to yes, then it'll go to this as a test since it didn't go through that go to command and it'll exit out. Alright, uh, one more quick uh, um, 
quick command is the CLS command. Um, basically, what it does is it clears the screen because eventually you'll get so much stuff on your screen it'll just get hard to read and annoying and so sometimes you might want it to clear the screen. Um, we'll just put that back in here in our if not part here right above the go to CLS. We'll save it. So now when we click here, make it not equal yes, you win. Now when I hit the button, it'll clear the screen and it'll go back to the top. Just like that. Now we make it equal to yes, it'll go this to test, then exit out. Um, using these commands, all these commands here, you can make a whole bunch of different batch files. I'll give you an example here. I actually made a game using a whole bunch of go-to commands and stuff like that, just a whole bunch of them, and it's just a simple game. You type out what you want to do, and it's got little pictures and stuff. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in the batch file. This is what it looks like, this whole thing. It's just one big game, and it scrolls over to quite a ways. And so that's some of the stuff that you can do with batch files. Um, later I'll be showing you how to make some batch file pranks to put on people's computers, fake viruses, stuff like that. Um, so now you know some of the basics of batch file programming.